We find a parallel in Daniel. Also, it speaks of the Aharit Hayamin, another thing, the last days. So it talks about the end of days, the end times, last of days. When I was eight years old, I became an atheist. But as I turned to around 12, 13, I started losing faith in atheism. I said, That's, this can't work. There's got to be a reason. It can't be we're here for no reason. So I'm seeking and seeking, and I, saw, I, I started seeking anything I could on something more. And so I looked on books on science and religion and, and even the occult and UFOs and Nostradamus. And one day I picked up a book. I thought it was a UFO book because they made it look like it. And it was a, I picked it up, and it was The Late Great Planet Earth by Hal Lindsey. Now, some of you who are older know this. Some of you who are younger don't. This was, the, I think, the biggest book of the 1970s all around. And it's all about end time prophecy. And I'm reading about this and wow, I had no idea. The, what the Bible said is coming true. Israel back in the world, all these things were coming true. I had no idea of this. And because it's kind of God got me through the back door because I was reading these other books about whatever books of UFOs, any book, it has something about Jesus in it. Doesn't matter if it's, a, if it's Islam, doesn't matter if it's the occult, it has something about Jesus in some way. New Age has something about Jesus because he's, because he's the real one. You know, everybody, all these people say, yeah, yeah, Jesus, and Jesus says, I'm the only one. So you know where to go. But so, so when I'm reading this book, it says it has Jesus in it, but I was already, oh yeah, okay, I've been reading about Jesus, okay. And so I'm reading about end time prophecy. I was like, wow, I had no idea. The Bible actually said this. There's no other book in the world that actually said what would happen in the end times, and it's happening. And I was excited about it. I wasn't a believer yet, but I was, I'm telling my friends about it. I'm even, I, had, I was in English, and I, we had, it was speech class. I don't know how I got that, but it was speech class. And we had to do a speech, so I preached to them about the end times. I remember that. But I didn't know the Lord, but I was leading people to the Lord back then. Who was the first author to write about end time prophecy? Moses. Moses. It's all the way back in the Torah. Moses, Deuteronomy 4.30 says this. When you are in distress, talking about Israel, and all these things have come upon you in the last days, you will return to the Lord your God. All the way back in Deuteronomy, you, you probably didn't know what was there. He talks about the end times. He talks about distress on Israel. For those who are marking that, that's Deuteronomy 4, 30. And he says, in that day, with it, you will return to the Lord. That's already way back there. It reveals again, it's consistent. It will be a time of tribulation for Israel, distress on Israel. But now it says also, it says in Deuteronomy, the Lord will scatter you among the peoples. You shall be left few in number among the nations where the Lord shall drive you. The people, the Jewish people will be scattered to the ends of the earth. But then it says, you will seek the Lord. In the last days, the Jewish people, there's going to be trouble upon Israel. But in the last days, they will seek the Lord or they will turn to the Lord. This is so consistent throughout the whole Bible. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.